Hey guys, it's Neil. You know what? I'm gonna turn the light off because there's no reason to see who see who's talking. I want y'all to listen to me. Just listen very carefully. You ever notice that on your phone, on your social media accounts, you will see some videos that pop up, either in social media, Instagram, Facebook. It's always based on whatever. I guess it's like I don't know. If they they do something that makes you. It's in a mood, or you've been picking something that makes you think that you know you're going through stuff and whatever you Google. I'm sure that's the reason. I'm not technological advanced, but there was a video of Tupac talking about like you know no matter what's going on in your life, you know stick your chest out and handle it like a like a man, woman, it doesn't matter. What he's saying is like this life is gonna give you problems and and it's, it's it's our job to try to like work through those things. Like life is not going to be easy and we all know that. So navigating through this thing called life can be very, you know, troubling and I know some people don't make it through it's, and I feel bad for those who took their lives for it. I know I've I've chosen that path many times and wanted to do, wanted to go that way, but I don't know, if I didn't have a son, if I didn't think about my mother, and my sisters, I probably would have. I guess I'm, I think about their feelings before I think of mine, before anyone else's, before my own, and that probably that's what keeps me going, and I just take it day by day. You know, and I like listening to the older folk talk about the shit they've been through and how they have come come so far and, and made it. And it kind of, it gets me through one day after the other. Because even going through some of the issues that, that I've been through, relationships, hardships, moving around, everybody knows I ain't been stable, the most stable person in the world. I'm trying to be. I've never been, I don't, I don't think that I'm the best husband that I was at one point. Uh, I wasn't the best son, you know. One thing I guarantee is that I'm a great father. I stuck by no matter what. And a lot of people may say otherwise about other things about me, but I know for a fact that's what kept me going. That's what makes me want to stay alive. That's what makes me keep, you know, going all the way. I don't have money, I don't have riches, I don't have these things. But what I do have is a lot of love for the people that are in my life, that are directly, that I can see and talk to. Um, the very few friends that I have. And just when sometimes you feel like you're done, something good happens. You know, I've been trying so hard to like overcome something right now in my life it's personal and um, it's, it's, it's a struggle but I do it I do it because I know that there's got to be a light at the end of that rainbow like there's got to be something that's that I'm meant for sometimes I think you know I say I, I talk to God and I ask him yo is, is there something I'm I'm meant for you know <laughs> don't answer me but I have hope you know it's not something you can see it's not something you can feel not something you can touch it's not something you can just think about and it keeps you going you know so I don't know what everyone's going through but I know people are going through worse than me. Look what's going on in the, the fight between the you know, Israel and the Muslims and the Jews and the Muslims. And it's like, sometimes I feel guilty of living a good life while the children over there are suffering. And I don't mention it a lot when I talk to people because I feel like unless I'm ready to do something about it, I shut the fuck up. So the only thing I can do is, is pray for them. 
pray for them and hope that this this this, this thing stops. Like I hate fights. I hate them. I hate them a lot. And I just hope that one day, like, God reveals what I'm supposed to be or what I'm supposed to do. You know, I, I sit here sometimes. I don't know if anyone ever does this. You sit here and you think, what is the meaning to your life? I go to the gym. I work out. I eat what I want. I spend money, sometimes frivolously. And there's some guilt about spending that money. While there's people out there that need what I want, what I have, like, you know, I got my son to provide for, and I do, I do decent. I don't do the greatest. I wish I could do more, and I'm trying to do more. But sometimes these things, <laughs> social media, they, they hit home. That's what I'm saying. They, they hit right here in the heart. They hit in the soft spot. You know, they hit you right in the soft spot because it kind of like says exactly what you want to say. And just when you think that you want to just fold and give up, <laughs> something comes up and say, hey, not right now. Don't you fucking dare give up. Because there's a lot of people depending on you. So don't you give up. Don't you dare put your knee on that ground, boy. There's so much more that you have to offer. I just don't know it yet. I don't know where it's going to come from. But I damn if I fucking give up now. Because I'm not. And I'm trying to. I damn this. I, I tell you that much. I'm trying. I go to the gym. All the time. I go to the gym six days a week, two times a day. People don't know what goes in my mind. I'm sure people go through the same thing. But I'm there busting my ass. I'm there training like, 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 they probably think I'm competing. They always say, yo, you gonna compete? <laughs> I'm trying to just stay alive. I'm not trying to compete. This is the only thing that's keeping me alive. I tell you, if I did not work out, I would be dead. And that's, God's honest truth because it's the only thing keeping me alive that, that and the, that, the fact that my son needs me he doesn't show it he doesn't come around much doesn't talk as much we talk he loves me I know I love him I say it. I tell him but it's, it's not fair to, to leave this world and he's not ready he's not ready he needs me and I need him. I need him more than he needs me. And he don't even know that. <laughs> the funny thing is, he don't know that I need him more than he needs me. So I fight. So every night I lay my head down to rest and I wake up the next morning. I say to myself, I won this fight. And I try to get through the next day and the next day and the next day until I ask God, forgive me for all the sins. Forgive me for what I did. Forgive me for the things I've done. And, and please help me get through this next, this next day. I don't ask for next week. I don't ask for next month. I don't even ask for next year. I just ask for the next day. Please. So when I close my eyes, I, the next day comes, I'm like, okay, I made it. Because there's so many times I thought I wasn't going to make it. So when people ask me, oh, Neil, you competing, you training so hard. <laughs> if you knew what's going on in my head, man, <laughs> you, you'll be like, what the fuck? So no, I'm not competing. I'm not training to compete. I'm, I'm training to stay alive. That's what it really is. I'm training to stay alive. That's all it is to me. And so far, I can't stop. Not until that feeling that I have of what the things I've done and the things I've been through goes away. So until then, I'm not stopping. I can't stop. It's like a drug. You know, it's like everything that I, I want is going to come through this one day. I know it's going to come through one day. I have to believe it. So... I guess that's what sparked this conversation is just hearing these people, social media, news, Facebook, 
tell you to keep going. My mom, I know she'll be sad if I leave. I'm her only son left. My brother died. My sister, she doesn't have a protector. I'm the protector of the family. I took that responsibility on. So I can't let him down. I can't. So I'm above ground for now. My head's above water. My body's under. My head's above water. But I'm gonna be flying soon. At when? I don't know. But soon. So hear me when I say, you keep moving. And if no one else loves you, remember God loves you. God loves you. And those who reject that, they will know his wrath. I'm not giving up, not yet. So to all those out there that work out for the reason to stay alive, I commend you because I know you're going through it. I'm a quiet stalker. What I mean by that, I'm moving, I go to the gym, I train hard, and I get out. I smile, I, I, I smile at people every day, but that smile ain't real. That smile is because I want to be pleasant. But inside, I'm like a fucking art animal. I'm like, I'm like a dragon. I'm like, I'm like, I want to burst out of my skin. I want to scream. I want to just jump out and just like, ah! That's how I feel. So I let it out inside my car. When I'm alone Like they said, you know Men don't let out their feelings to other people They let it out alone So, I guess this is therapy to me I Let it out alone I have therapists too Now maybe it's time to call her Because I'm feeling this way But I shouldn't feel this way Because something really good happened And I wanted it to happen for a while And it's struggling But I'm going to make it I'm going to make it I know I'm going to make it Because he, he ain't put me on this world for no reason There's got to be a reason why I'm here there's got to be a reason why I'm here. He did not put me here for no reason. At least, at least that's what I believe. Ah, fuck it. I'll leave this shit for another day. Later.